What's up guys and welcome back to Soft Nardo Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone's latest update. Yes ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty has done a couple of updates since I posted my last video. So they have done a few changes to the game, graphic wise and map wise and gameplay wise and all those type of things. So today I'm going to do an FPS boost guide for everyone out there that really needs this FPS boost guide and that's having problems with the game itself. Right, so I'm going to jump straight into this and get straight to the point and get on with this video. All right, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this. If you have the latest Windows 10, you can just click on start and go here. If you have Windows 11, just go ahead, go to search and go type in settings and go to update and security and make sure that your Windows is up to date. I highly recommend that you make sure your Windows is up to date. It plays a very big role on Call of Duty for your windows to stay up to date okay so this is number one number two will be your graphics card so all you need to do is go to the search button and type in device manager just like this and go to device manager like this and then go to display adapters it will tell you what graphics card you are currently running just right click on it go to update driver and say search automatically for drivers and it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed on your machine if you don't it will start downloading the latest drivers for your graphics card automatically this is the easy and simple way of doing it if you want to do fresh installation of your graphics card drivers all you need to do is go here right click on it go to update driver go to browse my computer Go to let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Click on your graphics card and click next. It will automatically reinstall a fresh copy of your graphics card. Fresh installation of your graphics card. Basically in simple terms. And that's one way of doing it. And it's the easy way of doing it. Another way of doing it is if you want to reinstall or basically update your graphics card drivers and keep it up to date. I highly recommend if you are an Nvidia user like me, I highly recommend installing GeForce Experience. If you do not have this, I highly recommend going to Google, going to Firefox, whatever the case might be, just open it up like this. And then all you need to do is type in your graphics card that you have and say driver download. It's very easy and simple to do. Um, I can literally, you can literally just talk to Google itself like this. RTX 2060 driver download. So just like that, and it will take you straight into video driver download. You already said what graphics card you have, so it will automatically pick up what graphics card you have. And then you just say search, just like this. And then from here, you just click download. You're going to download it and install it. And then when it says, would you like to install GeForce Experience? I highly recommend you go ahead and install GeForce Experience. Please go ahead and do this if you are a video user like me. Okay, so the reason why I highly recommend you install this is not to play your games through this or anything like that. It's just there for drivers. So you click on drivers, go to check for updates, and it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed on your computer. Now, when you're done with this and checked if you have the latest drivers installed on your computer, if you don't, it will start telling you to download it and express install. Just click on express install and install your graphics card drivers. Okay, the reason why I say that you should have GeForce Experience, it will let you know right here, it will be a little yellow dot to let you know that there's a new driver available for your graphics card if you are a NVIDIA user like me. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just jump straight into NVIDIA control panel. Right, so right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, or go to the search button over here, and then just go to type or just go to the search button over here and type in NVIDIA control panel and it will open up like this. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to adjust image settings with preview and then I highly recommend you select use the advanced 3D image settings. Then it says take me there which is basically going to take you here like this. Then we're going to change global settings. Yes you can go to program settings and then select a specific game to do these things. I highly recommend doing it for global settings because it works much much better. Now all you need to do is you need to follow this steps over here all of these that I've selected you can pause the video just follow these that I've done there especially these two over here they are very very important and then this one over here is very important and then this one over here is very very important triple buffering also it's very important test the filtering quality I highly recommend just keeping it on quality because you want to have quality inside your game plus you want to have the maximum performance out of your graphics card then you just say apply once you've done these things then you go to config surround and physics and you go from here from auto select to your graphics card and then say apply and it will apply the changes to your machine once you're done with that if you want to have better contrast and make your game look much better 
in Call of Duty Warzone, you just click on Adjust Desktop Color Settings like this. Go to your main display. If you only have one, you'll only have one screen over here. And then go to Digital Vibrance and put it on Image 3 so you can look at Image 3. And then bring this down and you can see it becomes more dull. So basically you bring it up. My sweet spot over here is 85 for my specific screen. Everyone out there has different monitors and different screens and whatever the case might be. Laptop screens, monitors, whatever they play on. Just look for one that looks really good for your computer and or your laptop and just apply these settings just like this. Once you are done with that, you're going to close out of this. The next step you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in power. Just like this, power. As you click power, this will come up over here, edit power plan, or you could just type in edit power plan, but just keep typing power, whatever the case might be, edit power plan will come up. You click on edit power plan and you're going to go to power options, just like this. Now for a lot of laptops, you might not have these things over here. Trust me, I know, and this is why I'm making this video. I know a lot of people play this game on laptops. They don't have these things over here, but you can make one. Now, even if you are running on a computer and you have these high performance, power saving, ultimate performance, I can make one that's better than ultimate performance. It's very easy to do. You just need to go to create a plan and then you go to high performance and type in anything inside here that you like to type in here. Let's just say for Warzone, just like that. And you go next. Then you're going to say never, never. It's your own personal preference. I just keep mine on never and say create. Now it's on for Warzone. It's an active power plan. Go to change plan settings, change advanced power settings. And as you can see, this one is active right now. You're going to change this to zero for your turn of hard disk after zero. You're going to keep it on like that. And it's going to say never. Once you click on anything else, scroll down, go to Go to processor power management, go to minimum, make sure it's on 100%. If you're on a laptop, it will say 5% and then it will say 100%. I highly recommend changing them both to 100% and then this one over here, both to 100%. If you're on a laptop, if you're on a computer, you only get one setting. Put these both on 100% and say apply and say OK and then you can just close out of this. Now the next step you're going to need to do is go over here to the search button and then type in graphic settings just like this and then click on graphic settings. You are going to add Call of Duty inside here. Now as you can see I already have Modern Warfare inside here, the EXE file. If you have this where it says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if you have this off or you have this option and it's off, I highly recommend you go ahead and switch it on. Please go ahead and switch it on. It does help for your gaming in general, especially for Call of Duty Warzone. Okay, you're going to click on browse over here and you're going to go find where your game is installed. So mine's installed over here. I literally renamed my folder to say Call of Duty is full of bullshit because it's quite, yeah, the game is full of bullshit. Click on modernwarfare.exe and say add. Okay, now as you can see, I already have it here. So you're just going to add it if you don't have it here. Click on this. And as you can see, it's the EXE file. Go to options, go to high performance, let it select your graphics card, say save, and then close out of this. Then I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. It's three steps that you need to take before you launch into Call of Duty Warzone. Before you play the game, I highly recommend you do this every time before you play your game. I do it myself and I have a fast enough computer to not even do this, but I still go ahead and do it. Okay. All you need to do is press the Windows key and R just like this to bring up the run tab. Okay. And you're going to type in temp and press enter. You're going to click on anything inside here, control and A to highlight everything, press delete on your keyboard and say continue. You're going to delete everything inside here. Windows is currently running this file. So you just press cancel and you're going to close out of this. Then you're going to press Windows key and R again. Or if you, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't work when you press Windows key and R and it doesn't bring up the run tab, you just go to the search button here and type in run and press enter. It will do the exact same thing. Next step is going to be shift five for the percentage symbol and then temp shift five for the percentage symbol you press enter you're going to click on anything inside here control a highlight everything right click on it if you want to or press delete on your keyboard just say delete and then say do this for all kind of items and then just say skip because windows is running all these files right now because i'm using programs that are open right now so all of these things are running in the background okay next step you're going to need to do is one more time you're going to open this up and you're going to type in prefetch just like this like that and press enter now yours might say continue, just say okay, and then go into this, control and A, highlight everything, right click on it, say delete, 
and then say do this all kind of items and say skip you're going to close out of this and then it's very very important to empty your recycling bin right click on it say empty recycling bin and say yes i'm just going to move this off my screen again from here we're going to go into battle.net and open up battle.net the first thing that we're going to change inside battle.net itself is this you're going to go to options over here and you're going to go to game settings like this okay you're going to go to app and you're going to say on game launch exit battle.net completely and then when clicking x exit battle.net completely scroll all the way down and untick this box make sure it's not ticked if you untick it if it is ticked and you untick it, it's going to ask you to restart your Battle.net. Please go ahead and do so. I highly recommend that you change these three things. That, this, and then this one here. And say, done. Once you're done with that, I highly recommend you go over here to Options and go to Show and Explorer. Go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, scroll all the way down, and go to these over here. Now, as you can see, if I right-click on this and I go to Properties and I go to Compatibility Mode, none of these things are checked right now. Over here, these aren't checked either. I say OK. If I go over here, none of them are checked here. And none of them are checked here. Now, the reason why I'm saying you shouldn't be checking these. A lot of people do say you can... I've done this before. But every time Call of Duty brings out updates, they break the game. And they make it worse. I don't know... Like, I honestly don't know what they're doing with their game. Like, I wish I could just go to these people and give them, like, one fat fucking smack in the face because they don't know what they're doing I honestly like it, it's like they don't give a fuck about their game honestly like i'm pretty sure everyone that's watching this video knows this already so if you have this where it says disable full screen optimization and run this program in administrator and you apply these settings and you play your game and it crashes and stuff like that i highly recommend go ahead and untick these and keep it unticked and then apply these settings for both of these okay once you're done with that Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to jump straight into the game and I'm going to show you what you're going to be changing inside Call of Duty for the latest update, what settings you should be using, and how you should be playing your Call of Duty. All right, let's jump straight into the game. Let me show you what you need to do next. So I'm doing about 155 FPS in the lobby. 155. Okay, so first step, options, graphics, display, full screen. Your monitor you can't be running, your graphics card you can't be running, the refresh rate of your monitor, the resolution of your monitor or your display. Then you're going to disable this. Put this on 10, this on automatic. This you're going to disable unless you're getting screen tearing or you want to cap your FPS. If you want to cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor, go ahead and change this to enable. Or if you're getting screen tearing, because that's what VSync means vsync is there if you're getting screen tearing it's it, that is its main purpose is is if you are getting screen tearing okay and then it also caps your fps to it locks it to the hertz of your monitor or your display now i don't get any screen tearing or anything like that so i go ahead and disable this and then i uncap my fps this you're going to put on unlimited and then the brightness i highly recommend just make sure that you can actually see the m and w for modern warfare don't bring it anywhere down, but it's your own personal preference. 2.2, disable and disable, and you're going to apply these settings. You are going to go to quality. Field of view is your own personal preference. And then I highly recommend if you do change your field of view, put this on affected. I highly recommend you go ahead and do so. Just put it on affected and leave it there. This one over here, you're going to put on least streaming quality on low. Texture resolution, keep it on normal. The game runs absolutely fine on normal. Texture filter anastropic, keep it on normal. The game runs absolutely fine on normal. Particle quality, you can keep this at high or you can put this at low depending on the machine that you're running. I keep mine at high with my graphics card and my CPU. I'm running a 9700K with 16 gigs of RAM and an RTX 2060 OC and everything's been overclocked. Okay, bullet impacts and spray. Obviously, people are going to enable this, so go ahead and enable it. It does nothing with FPS. This has literally nothing to do with frames per second in this game. So you can enable it or disable it. I highly recommend just go and enable it. It has nothing to do with frames. Tessellation, this has something to do with frames. This works with frames in the game, okay? So you can put it on near or you can put it on all. I highly recommend just put it on all if you want your game to look good in general. The gore effects... It's good to have it enabled. Just go ahead and enable it. It has nothing to do with FPS. You won't drop FPS, 
FPS or increase your FPS by disabling this, okay? Or enabling it. So just leave it on enable and leave it there. This on demand texture streaming, disable it. This I'm gonna get to just now. This you put on 1.00, okay? And this on 0, 0.00. If you have NVIDIA DLSS, for people out there that don't have NVIDIA DLSS, you're going to disable this, put this on its highest, and put this all the way down. Or put this over here, or put this over here. If you do not have NVIDIA DLSS, find the sweet spot for your computer. No one has the exact same computer. So yours might be good on this, and then some other person that's watching this video might be, it might be good on that, or it might be good on this. So test these out. Go play the game like this, then go play the game like this, then go play the game like this, okay? But if you have NVIDIA DLSS, okay? I highly recommend put it on ultra performance and put this all the way to 1.00. You'll get the best frames out of your game while playing, okay? This you're going to disable depth of field, world motion blur, and then weapon motion blur, disable this. You do not need this. It's a multiplayer game, so you don't need this at all. Shadow map resolution, low. Cache spot, Shadows, I highly recommend enabling it. It makes the game look much, much better. It just feels better if you enable these two things. I don't know why. It's just a thing in COD. Apparently, it's just a thing in COD, but I highly recommend you go ahead and enable these. If you're getting FPS loss and you change these things to disable and you're getting a little bit more frames, I don't know, maybe like two, five, six FPS more, then go ahead and disable them. Okay? It's up to you. It's your own personal computer, so it's up to you. This one over here, DirectX Ray Tracing, you do not need this. You are not playing single player. You are playing a multiplayer game. Disable it. This you are going to disable, ambient occlusion, and then screen space reflection, SSR, disable it. And I highly recommend keep to these settings right now for this updates that has passed. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. Now to apply these settings, you're just going to say apply. Then you are going to say restart shader installation. You're going to click on this and then watch your frames climb up. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year. And as always, peace out.